Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about three more uh, introductory words or definitions in geometry, and those three words are collinear, coplanar, and congruent. Let's get right into it, okay? So look at collinear. Look, the word, you can see there's a root word in here, and it's line or linear. And that has to do with lines, obviously. So let's draw a line, and I'll show you how this concept plays out. So remember, to do a line, you need at least two points. So let's put in line A and B. Now, when I connect those, remember that's not a line. That's called a line segment. But to make it a line, I have to extend it towards infinity with little arrows in both directions. So now I have line AB, and that's how I would designate that. If it were a line segment, this is just a little extra. If it were just a line segment, like just from there to there, I would designate it this way with just a line. Again, no arrows. Okay? But <clears throat> let's get back to the point collinear. And let's put another point on there. Let's call that point C. Now, line our points A, B, and C are collinear because they lie on the same line. Okay, not that big of a concept, but if I have another point off that line, let's call that point D, I would say that D is not collinear with A, B, and C. But can I make point D collinear with one of those? I absolutely could. What I'd have to do is draw another line. So now D is collinear with B. All right, but it is not collinear with A and C. Okay, so here's a question for you. What point is collinear with each of the other three points that I have designated here? And if you said point B, you would be correct, but you'd have to be a little bit more accurate. You could say point B is collinear with point D on line BD. And point B is collinear with lines A and C on line. Remember, you can do this. You just need two of these points. So you could say AB. Or you could say even line AC. Okay? So B is the only point that's collinear as, as it's drawn with all three of the other points. D is not collinear with A. D is not collinear with C, unless I draw more lines. So that's the first concept that I want you to pay attention to. Now let's look at another concept, and that is coplanar. And as you probably guessed, coplanar has to do with planes. So coplanar. Remember that when you draw a plane, you need at least three points. So let's draw our plane. And again, let's put three points on this plane, and let's call them A B and C. So again, remember, I can call this plane ABC. I could put another little designation up here. And it's not even a dot, actually. I shouldn't have done that. But let's say I could call this M. So this could be called also plane M. Okay. But A, B, and C are coplanar because they rest on the same plane. If again were to draw another point off that plane, as in this one. Uh, and now it's kind of hard to tell whether it extends and lies on that same uh, plane or not, but usually what you'll see is something that looks like this, a bunch of series of little dots, which kind of indicates that this point D lies below plane ABC. Okay? So that these are not coplanar. All right? You could make them coplanar by having to draw like another plane and include one or two of these other points, but right now the concept is that it's just coplanar or not coplanar. Okay. And finally, let's look at our last point, and that's congruent. Now, congruent in my book is probably the most important term of these three, but let me show you why. Congruent. Now, the symbol for congruent is this. It's an equal sign with a little uh, wavy part above it. Okay, now what does congruent mean? If I were to draw like a triangle with two of the sides equal, it kind of looks like all three, but let's say 
This is triangle ABC. And let's say that this line segment and this line segment are exactly the same length. And let's say this one's just a little longer, okay? So this line segment AB, remember line segments have just a straight line, and line segment BC are exactly the same length. I would do that by putting a little slash, one slash through both of those, okay? And I would say that they are congruent. And that's what congruent means. They're exactly the same length. And that's how you designate it. So if I had, for example, another triangle that looks something like this. Okay. Or let's say another figure. Let's say that looks like this. Actually, let's try this one because it's a little bit better. I could say that AC and BD are congruent. I would do that, and then I would do this. AC congruent BD. I could also say that AB is congruent with CD. Now look what I did. I had to draw two slash marks and indicate those are two slash marks. Okay, so they have to match up. So if this matches this, then it means these are exactly the same length. If this matches this, again, the same length, and then that's how you write it out. Okay, again, an equal sign with a little wave on the top. I hope that was helpful.